Tonight, Fort Lauderdale police want to help finding a shooter who unloaded 18 rounds into an SUV heading toward an I-95 entrance ramp. Both victims died, and it's not yet clear why someone attacked them. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward has the very latest from Fort Lauderdale. Detectives want tips. Anyone in this area minutes before 2.30 a.m. who either saw the shooting or has information about the attack that started right here along West Sunrise Boulevard, then rolled around the corner onto that northbound I-95 ramp. Bullets ripped through the windshield, the driver's window, and three doors of Ronaldo Donner and Terry McKenzie's Mercedes. Fort Lauderdale police say the 22 and 21 year olds from Deerfield Beach took fire at least 18 shots as they steered toward this I 95 ramp on Sunrise Boulevard. The attack rattled neighbors and immediately <laughs> brought police. Is this a lot of rounds? And it was full auto. And it was definitely moving north. Both victims made it to Broward General Hospital. Neither survived. According to Florida Highway Patrol, they are the fourth and fifth highway shooting victims in Broward County this year. Miami-Dade County has twice as many. If people come forward and tell us what they saw, it, it will be a higher chance of these cases being solved. Retired Miami-Dade Police Major Ignacio Alvarez thinks investigators in this case will lean on video from traffic cameras if they recorded the shooting. While the suspect's description and motive are unclear, Florida Highway Patrol and Fort Lauderdale Police are searching for the gunman and hope someone brings them a case-breaking tip. In Fort Lauderdale, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.